All right, everybody. Welcome back. So we're going to open up our calc.cpp, and we're going to go to the function that we skipped. We're going to scroll up, and if our lines match perfectly, we should be at line 80. So inside here is the square root function. So I'm going to space over twice, and I'm going to first set a condition. So I'm going to do if number does not equal 0. So if we're trying to make the square root of 0, we're going to make it so that it doesn't work. It's going to return 0 anyways, and it's just going to mess up the program if we do it. So we're going to make it so that as long as, as long as the number does not equal 0, find the square root. I'm sorry. Well, let me take that back. The square root function, we have to make sure that the number is greater than 0. So number, it can't be a negative number because you can't take the square root of a negative number. And 0 is just going to mess everything up. So it has to start with at least 1. So if we do number is greater than 0. So with that said, we're going to do number, which is the accumulator, is going to be equal to square root, which is a function that we're going to write ourselves in a minute. And we're going to pass it stack 0. Close that off. And just like before, stack 0 is going to equal number. All right, so I'm going to save this. And this function does not exist yet, but if we scroll back up to our class declaration, it's right here. I'm going to copy these two functions, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So here at line 153, I'm going to paste this, grab three chunks here so I can se separate my code and I'm going to continue here on line 156. So I'm going to declare it double then we're going to do calc square root and the absolute value we're going to do the same thing so I can just copy this paste that there make sure we erase the semicolons at the end and we'll give them some blocks so we can start writing some code in here grab our three little chunks here and separate these two All right. so in line 158 I have the meat and bones of the square root function I'm gonna save this and actually I'm gonna run I'm gonna compile this real quick just to make sure that everything works warning no no new line at end of file that is not a big deal but remember how I, I've been kinda you know making a making a point to have a new line at the end of each file that's just because G++ likes it when you have it. So, okay, we don't get an error. Clear the screen. Inside of the square root function, we're going to have a double data type, and I'm just going to call this number, so let's do NBR with inside, inside the scope of this function. So just watch carefully as I write this function out. It's not the best square root function in the world, but for our purposes here, it works just fine. If you feel like making your own square root code, you can. You can do it. Great. I, as a matter of fact, I encourage you to do so. But for right now, write down what I have. We're going to do double. We're going to call this num. We're going to set this equal to the, the number that's passed. Let me make sure. NBR and divide that number by 2. Okay. Then after this, we're going to set a constant. Constant double. And we're going to call this tolerance. And we're going to set the tolerance equal to 1.0 e to the negative 7. Close off that line. Underneath this, we're going to have a little do while loop. It's going to be do and it's going to be num. Actually, just I'm going to write this all in one line so it looks nice and pretty. So do num equals Okay, we're going to have number equal num divided by I'm sorry, num plus nbr divided by num divided by 2. So we're going to do all of that while. And here's where the absolute value function that we're going to write is going to come in handy. While the absolute value of, and I'm just going to close off this parenthesis, 
give us some space so it looks nice and pretty. While abs, num times num minus nbr is less than the tolerance. So I'm just going to double click, copy that, and paste that there. And make sure I have my semicolon here. So this is a little algorithm I've devised for doing a square root. And uh, if it works, great. You know, we might test it in a couple of minutes and see that it doesn't. So what we're going to do in the ABS function is uh, we're going to do the same. I'm gonna copy NBR. And I'm going to put that down here because we're going to use the same name. If NBR is greater than or equal to zero, return and return NBR. Then we'll do else. Very simple function here. Return, let me spell return wrong. Negative NBR. Okay, so if it's greater than or equal to zero, return positive. If it's not, return negative. And I forgot one line here in the square root function is our return statement. We're gonna return num. Okay, so those are coded. I'm gonna save this and I'm going to compile it and it works. All right. Okay, now looking through the code here, it appears that everything looks halfway decent. Uh, right now we're up to 174 lines of code, including comments. So I guess the, the next video we're gonna come back and we're gonna use the main.cpp to start testing this and see if we can find some errors.